in this session, we will learn how to create and use bill of materials, commonly known as BOM in manufacturing of finished goods. Bill of materials is a comprehensive list of raw materials, components, parts or anything which is required to manufacture a finished product detailing the quantity of each component required to produce the finished goods. To make it a little easier, let's consider an example. Max Electronics assembles computer desktop named as Assembled Desktop. They have two variants of Assembled Desktop, one being Standard Desktop and the other one known as Premium Desktop. Here is a list of components to assemble the two variants of a desktop. As you see, both the variant of assembled desktop comes with different components or configurations. Here, assembled desktop is the finished product. The variants, standard desktop and premium desktop are the bill of materials or BOM. BOM. Now let us learn how to create a bill of materials for finished products. If you have already created a finished product, use Alter and configure the BOM, else you use Create option. To Alter, from Gateway of Tally, press A for Alter, select Stock Item and select the finished product, Assembled Desktop. Press F12 for Configure. Set Show More Configuration to Yes. Set Enable Component List Details, Bill of Materials to Yes. Press Ctrl plus A to accept the configuration screen. Enable Alter Components BOM to Yes. Mention the BOM name. I'm mentioning it as Standard Desktop. In Unit of Manufacture, specify the appropriate number of finished products that will be manufactured by using the components that you are going to define. I am mentioning it as one, meaning to manufacture one number of a standard desktop, what are the components and the quantity that I need to consume? Next, specify the list of components along with quantities that are required to produce the standard desktop variant. I am selecting ASUS 16.6 inch monitor. Select the go down from which the consumption is expected. You can change this while recording transaction as well. Mention the quantity. Similarly, select all other components required for assembling a desktop of the standard variant. Select end of list to accept the screen. Now, let us create another BOM for Premium Desktop variant. Mention the BOM name as Premium Desktop. I am mentioning the unit of measure as 1. Here is a quick tip for you. To include by products or core products or scrap, press F12 for configure. Enable define type of components for BOM. Mention the components required for assembling a desktop of the premium variant. Select end of list to accept the screen. Press enter to accept the BOM. Press Ctrl plus A to accept the stock item screen. To view the cost estimation based on details given in the BOM, press Alt plus G for go to. Type and select cost estimation. Select the finished product assembled desktop. Press F8 for all BOM. Press Escape to come back to Gateway of Tally. Now, let's record a manufacture voucher using Bill of Materials. Press V for vouchers, F10 for other vouchers. Select Stock Journal. Press Ctrl plus H for Change Mode and select Use for Manufacturing Journal. In name of product, select the finished goods. In name of bomb, select the variant that you are using to manufacture. Select the go-down in which you want to store the finished goods. Mention the quantity of finished goods that you are producing. Now, you can see all the components are auto-captured with quantity details that are required to produce the finished goods. 
you can edit the details if any changes are required. Enter and move to the next section. Next, mention the core products or byproducts or scrap that has been produced in the process of manufacturing the finished goods. I'm selecting end of list as there are no core products or byproducts or scrap are produced. Next, you can mention the additional cost related to the manufacturing of finished goods. I'm selecting assembly charges as an additional cost at 10% of the component cost. You can also mention the additional cost manually under the amount filled. You can also see the total effective cost including additional charges to produce a given quantity of finished goods. Also, the effective cost per quantity of finished goods is shown. Enter to mention the narration, if any. Enter and accept the voucher. Similarly, you can record a manufacturing journal using premium desktop bill of material. A quick recap. Creating multiple BOM for a finished product. Viewing BOM-wise cost estimation report for finished products. Recording Manufacturing Journal using BOM Prime.